Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Today we're going to be serving up some tasty bites that will take your taste buds from Sketch to Figma. Moving from Sketch to Figma is fairly straightforward as long as you keep a few things in mind. Let's dive right in. The first thing to know is that you can get your existing Sketch files into Figma easily. You can either drag and drop a Sketch file right into the Figma UI, or you can go to the main menu and choose File, New from Sketch File. This will create a new Figma file with your sketch file content within it. It's not always perfect, but it's a good way to bootstrap your workflow. One of the differences in Figma is the concept of frames. In Sketch, these are called artboards. They are both just containers for content. You can create a new frame in a few ways. The first is to press the F key on your keyboard. You can also use the shortcut from Sketch, which is the A key. The other way to create them is to click the frame icon in the toolbar at the top of Figma. After any of those, you simply click and drag to draw in a frame. Frames can have fills applied to them and can be nested inside of each other. Another key difference is components. In Sketch, these are called symbols. They work similarly but have two differences. If we select this button and click Create a Component from the toolbar, you'll notice that a component is created, but it doesn't go to its own page. Next, if we want an instance of this component that we want to manipulate, we do this directly on the canvas. There isn't a notion of an override panel in Figma. Now we'll talk about styles. These are reusable elements that are broken into modular pieces. There are three types of styles, fills, text, and effects. These can be applied to an element by selecting your styles from the style menu. If we want to create our own styles, we can detach the existing style and save it as a new one, which defines a local style. Now let's talk about how we can share these styles across files. Figma has a similar idea to Sketch with a library. You can click this book icon in the left panel to bring up a dialog that has all the available libraries for your team or organization. If you hit the publish button, you can share the local styles we created so that the rest of your team can use them. Lastly, we'll touch on constraints, auto layout, and grids. These act similarly to sketch, but they are at the frame level. So if we select this first red square frame, we can go over to the constraints section of the right panel and change it to center and bottom. We'll change the blue one to right. If we resize this parent frame, you can see these nested frames respect the rules we set up. Auto layout is called smart layout in Sketch. If you have a frame, you can hit auto layout in the right panel and adjust how much padding and spacing are between your elements. As the size of the frame changes, the auto layout rules are obeyed. Finally, grids. You can hit the plus icon in the layout grid section of the right panel. You can create multiple grids and even store those as a style. So if you create a new frame, we can apply the same grid style to it. That's how you swiftly switch from Sketch to Figma. I hope this Figma bite helps you change tools without a hitch. Thanks for watching.